Welcome. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to compare and analyze branches with GitSense. When comparing branches with GitHub, GitLab, and VSTS, you can easily tell how many commits a branch is ahead and behind. Knowing this information is interesting, but if you're looking for a bit or a lot more insight, GitSense can help, and we'll show you how. To see what a difference GitSense can make, we'll use it to compare and analyze the 1.8, 1.9, and master branch in the Go Git repository, so let's get started. Since we are currently in VSTS, we can access GitSense in one of two ways. We can click on the Insights link, or we can select GitSense from the Project Navigation bar. With GitSense loaded, we can now start the analysis. To begin, we'll first select all three branches, and then click the Analyze Branches button to continue. With the GitSense commits chart, we can see that within the last three months, there has been little activity on the 1.8 and 1.9 branches. And if we switch to the one year chart, we can see that 1.8 started to deviate from master at around December 2016, and 1.9 at around mid-July. Now let's scroll down to see what else we can learn. On the left hand side, we can see the branch commits. On the right hand side, we can see the commits count for each branch, a summary of the commits by month, and the commits author. And if we continue to scroll down and focus on a commit summary, we can see that on December 2016, 1.8 started to deviate from master. And we know this because there were 17 commits not on the 1.8 branch. Now let's scroll back up to learn more about 1.9. For 1.9, we can see that it started to deviate from master on July. And if we click on that month, we can view July in greater detail. Here we can see there were two commits unique to 1.9 on the 24th. And if we click on that day, we can easily see what was committed. Here we can see the two commits to the 1.9 branch. And if we click on the Commits Files link, we can view their changes. So that was a simple example that demonstrates how you can use GitSense to compare and analyze branches. Now let's look at something that is a bit more advanced. For this more advanced example, we'll use GitSense to help us compare and analyze C file changes across 1.8, 1.9, and the master branch. And to do this, we'll use a search query path colon star dot c and path colon star dot h to only match commits with changes to files with a dot c and dot h extension. With this search, we can see the last c file changes to 1.8 was in February. And the last c file changes to 1.9 was in June. To see what changed at the code level, we'll have to execute a branch diff, but before we can do that, we'll first have to find the head commits for each branch. And we can do this by scrolling up and clicking on the branch head search link. With this search, we can see the latest commits for each branch, and we can select them for diffing by clicking on the ellipsis icon. For this diff, we want to see what changed from 1.9 to master, so we'll select 1.9 as the from commit, and master as a to commit. And because we want to know exactly what change, we'll execute a commit to commit diff by clicking on the first diff button. If we were to click on the second diff button, which contains three dots between the commits, GitSense will execute a merge based diff, which is not what we want. So with this diff, we can see that in total there were 1,637 file differences between 1.9 and master. But because we are only interested in C file changes, we can filter the tree to only match files with a .c and a .h extension. And with this filtered C tree, we can see that there are 14 file differences between 1.9 and master. And if we click on the files, we can view their diffs.
So as you can see, when comparing and analyzing branches with GitSense, you get a lot more than commits ahead and behind. You get valuable insight that can help you to work smarter and faster. And if you haven't already done so, you can download GitSense from the GitSense website and play with GitSense with a public GitSense server.